Hi guys, today I'm sitting inside my 1999 Jeep Cherokee and I've got some serious headliner issues going on. As you can see the sagging here. Uh, this has been happening now for about six months. It started out with just one little small spot um, and just kind of uh, went downhill from there, so to speak. Uh, as you can see, it's really kind of uh, affected my interior lighting here. And uh, it goes all the way up to the um, mat or the um, sun visors from the front and all the way to the back to the speakers. So uh, pretty much the entire fabric of the headliner needs to be repaired or replaced. <clears throat> Alright guys, my understanding on how to do this correctly is that you remove the fabric uh, and remove the headliner. To do that you take the uh, trim molding off here, it goes along the interior of the car, it's held on by screws. And once you do that you take your uh, fabric and your headliner out, clean the fabric and uh, clean the headliner of any foam sealant that's still left on then reapply the foam sealant and reapply the um, fabric here and then replace both as well as the molding guys I don't have any intention on doing that that's uh, very involved and um, I'm going to try to find an alternative plan for myself uh, at least you know that will be easier and not take as long so stay tuned guys I'm gonna head out to the craft shop as well as the auto parts store and uh, try to find some products today Here's some other sources of spray adhesives. Okay, here's the materials I'm going to be using. In the auto parts store, I picked up a couple of packs of the eight-piece headliner repair kit. I think I'm going to need more. This is uh, all they had, so uh, they ordered some more. These are like um, little thumbtacks, corkscrew thumbs thumbtacks. Here's a close-up look at them here. Clear head kind of low profile it's not supposed to be so noticeable uh, yeah I've got uh, 16 total I'm probably going to need more so I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, these and uh, see how far I can go I've got the uh, fabric glue this is a uh, looks similar to uh, wood glue, uh, white wood glue. Uh, I can't think of the popular name right now, but uh, yes, yeah, pretty inexpensive, like four bucks for that. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the liquid nails. And what I'll be using the uh, glue for, guys, is areas like right here at the sun visor. I'll have to remove the old uh, foam from the headliner. I'll show you guys that later on. And I'll be using the glue also for uh, around the interior light. So let's go ahead and get started on this.
The next thing I need to do is to remove the old foam adhesive that you see here so that I can apply my new glue in this area here as well as the interior light and you can see the uh, adhesive here Here's a look at the finished headliner. I've been driving around a little bit today, and when I first got in my Jeep, it was a little strange. I felt like it was in a Hellraiser movie, but after getting in and out a few times, I'm already used to it. I don't even notice the difference anymore. 
I started around the perimeter of the headliner with the thumb screws and I worked my way uh, to the center to the interior light. Wished I had a little bit more fabric to tuck on into the under the light, but uh, that's okay. I think it uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the thumb screws worked out really well. They went in um, very tight. Uh, none of them broke, and none of them stripped out into the uh, the headliner. I used 24 of them, um, so the budget for this was uh, under 20 bucks. Uh, I used uh, yeah 24 so that was like 12 bucks uh, bought a four dollar bottle of glue that I did not use uh, had the liquid nails already and didn't use much of that at all uh, most of the time was taking the old glue off by vacuuming it and then reapplying uh, some new glue if I would have just used thumb screws on this which I could have it would have uh, taken probably 10 or 15 minutes so uh, yeah, clearly under an hour, under 20 bucks to do this. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it's going to last me a long time. Uh, so yeah, definitely an option if you're looking for a way to fix your sagging headliner. Um, hope this has been a helpful and informative, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day and take care.